What's happening? We lost some good ones in 2023. It's been a rough year for snackers and munchers alike, as we've had to say farewell to some old favorites from our favorite chains. If you blinked, then you may have missed these 10 discontinued foods we lost in 2023. What the hell are you talking about? Dunkin' Dunkachino. Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do! It's with a heavy heart and a caffeine-craving soul that we bid adieu to a longtime Dunkin' staple, the Dunkachino. This delightful drink, a heavenly blend of coffee and hot chocolate, has quietly disappeared from Dunkin's offerings, leaving a void in the hearts of its loyal fans. The Dunkachino was a beloved member of Dunkin's family since its inception in the year 2000. It was often described as a unique blend of coffee and hot chocolate flavors, which was served piping hot and for a while even in a frosty variation. Sadly, Duncan chose to retire this fan-favorite concoction without specifying the exact reasons behind its departure. Now why, you might ask, has this cherished drink been quietly pulled from Duncan's lineup? Well, it's the harsh reality of the food industry. Menus evolve, and sometimes even the most beloved items get phased out. The official statement from Duncan HQ hints at the pursuit of innovation and the quest to delight guests in new ways. As they say, out with the old, in with the new. For those yearning to recapture that Dunkachino magic, some fans have suggested ordering a hot chocolate with a turbo shot of espresso, swearing that it's a close, delicious alternative. I got coffee. Coffee, second donuts. Starbucks Raspberry Syrup. The Nectar of the Gods. The iconic Starbucks Raspberry Syrup was a delightful companion to many coffee adventures for as long as memory serves. Whether you were in the mood for a raspberry mocha, raspberry steamer, or perhaps a zesty raspberry lemonade, this syrup was the wizard behind the flavor curtain, adding a sweet berry twist to many Starbucks concoctions. However, the coffee giant is always on the prowl for fresh food trends and innovative beverages to keep us on our toes. And in 2023, it seems that the raspberry syrup has stepped aside, making way for a new era. But the question on every Starbucks fan's lips is, what's next? Could we be sipping on lavender-infused lattes, enjoying strawberry-flavored sensations, or perhaps indulging in creamsicle-inspired creations with a hint of orange? The possibilities are as vast as the coffee landscape itself. While we may have said our temporary goodbyes to the raspberry syrup, let's not lose hope entirely. After all, Starbucks has brought it back once before, so who's to say we won't see a resurgence in the future? Do you have a plan? KFC's Popcorn chicken combo. That popcorn is too big. <laughs> well, folks, it's time to say goodbye to a little nugget of joy that has graced KFC's menu, the popcorn chicken combo. Now, before you go thinking it's the end of the chicken story at KFC, hold that thought. The beloved chicken tenders are here to stay. It's just that in the grand quest to simplify the menu boards, KFC decided it was time for popcorn chicken to take a bow and exit stage left. Turns out this bite-sized chicken option wasn't quite hitting it off with the mass but there's a silver lining to this menu change. Enter KFC's all-new Chicken Nuggets. These bad boys are larger, juicier, and are hand-breaded right there at each KFC outlet. They're infused with that secret KFC herbs and spices wizardry that we all know and love. So while we bid adieu to the popcorn chicken combo, we welcome a new contender in the ring, ready to tantalize our taste buds with their finger-licking goodness. Finger-licking good. Finger leaking good. First time here? Well, don't be the only one on the block who isn't an official babble topper. Just hit that subscribe button to never miss out. Thanks, you're the best. Dunkin' Thin Mint Flavor Swirl. What the hell happened? An explosion of flavor! We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Dunkin's Thin Mint Flavor Swirl, a creation that sent taste buds into a blissful frenzy. Back in 2018, Dunkin hatched a brilliant plan to infuse their drinks with the flavors of Girl Scout cookies. You heard it right, you could sip on your Thin Mints, coconut caramels, or the ever-so-tempting s'mores. And if that wasn't enough, they even had refrigerated bottles of Dunkin' iced coffee, so you could indulge in these cookie-inspired delights 
lights any time of the day. It was a dream come true for cookie lovers everywhere and a perfect way to get your Sin Mint fix year-round. We have to try them all! The Sin Mint flavor swirl featured the delightful duo of cool, refreshing mint and luscious chocolate. It was the ultimate treat for those who couldn't get enough of those iconic green boxes of Girl Scout cookies. After the 2023 Girl Scout cookie season wrapped up, Dunkin' delivered some heartbreaking news. The Sin Mint flavor swirl, which had a history of being dropped and brought back over the years, won't be making a return this time around. Duncan put it bluntly, saying, At this time, we don't have any plans to bring back the Sin Mint flavor swirl. Now that's some sad news. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life missing them. Chicken Express Serendipity Hot Seasoning Salt. Hot chicken aficionados, the sad day has arrived. The beloved serendipity hot seasoning salt, once a staple for spice enthusiasts at Chicken Express, has made its exit from the menu, at least for the time being. This fiery seasoning was the secret weapon for those seeking a spicy kick to their crispy fried chicken. Serendipity Salt, a legendary name in the world of fried chicken, was renowned for its complex and mouthwatering flavor. It was the result of a magical concoction of various spices blended together to create a symphony of heat and taste. It tastes like a memory of a life well lived. Now, the unfortunate turn of events stems from the company behind this magical seasoning, Jess Hall Serendipity LLC, filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in January 2023. Since then, Chicken Express restaurants had to break the news to customers that once their seasoning supplies ran dry, there would be no more. At one point, you could scoop up this seasoning from HEB grocery stores, but it seems even that treasure trove has been exhausted. Online orders, too, have run their course, and the serendipity seasoning has vanished into thin air. This is terrible, Brian. KFC's Nashville Hot Sauce. Hot sauce? That's right! Well, spice lovers, we've got some saucy news to share. KFC, the crispy chicken haven, briefly ventured into the world of fiery flavor with its Nashville hot sauce. But it seems like this hot tail has come to a sizzling end. The Nashville hot chicken trend has been setting taste buds on fire lately, and KFC wasn't one to miss the spicy party. Back in 2016, they joined the ranks of restaurants offering this fiery dish. True to tradition, they applied their zesty Nashville hot sauce after frying the chicken, creating a tantalizing blend of cayenne pepper, a dash of black pepper, and a hint of smoked paprika. Are you okay? It was a lip-smacking, finger-licking experience that left fans wanting more. And what's Nashville hot chicken without its trusty sidekicks? KFC paired this scorching delight with pickled chips and coleslaw, offering a complete eating circuit of briny, creamy, and spicy, a flavor explosion for the senses. You had choices of plenty, hot chicken on the bone or in tender form, and, of course, a biscuit to mop up that scrumptious spicy sauce. But alas, every good spice story must have an ending. The Nashville hot craze continues to sizzle on menus across the nation, spawning new restaurants and food trucks. However, it seems KFC decided to bid farewell to their Nashville hot endeavors to make room for menu items that are hitting it off with more of their customers. I ordered my hot sauce an hour ago. Panera's Grilled Mac and Cheese. I made that just for you. I don't know what's in it. Let's take a moment to reminisce about a sandwich that was a true mac and cheese lover's fantasy, Panera's Grilled Mac and Cheese Sandwich. Picture this, creamy mac and cheese lovingly tucked between two slices of bread, then grilled to melty perfection. But what really set this sandwich apart were the unexpected stars of the show, those crunchy baked bits of mac and cheese that danced on top. When you jumped into one, it was like a delicious surprise, adding a delightful crunch and a wild dimension to each bite. This gooey delight even made its way into Panera's Choose Two deals, so you could pair it with soup or salad and create the ultimate comfort food combo. The grilled mac and cheese sandwich was a hit, especially among the younger crowd. Kids adored it for its cheesy goodness sandwiched between slices of bread. But as the saying goes, not everything that shines is gold, and it wasn't everyone's cup of tea. You see, it did require a bit of extra effort to whip up, which wasn't exactly music to the ears of Panera's hard-working employees. It seems the popularity was a bit unpredictable. Alas, in 2023, 
Panera decided to bid farewell to this creamy mac and cheese creation. While they could technically still whip one up since the macaroni and cheese remains on the menu, it might not be the same without the official stamp of the grilled mac and cheese sandwich. Oh, looks pretty good. Wendy's Southwest Avocado Chicken Salad. What are you making? Salad. It's time to bid farewell to a keto dream at Wendy's, the Southwest Avocado Chicken Salad. As of March 2023, this green delight has taken its final bow, leaving salad enthusiasts craving for that creamy guacamole goodness. An inside scoop from a Wendy's informant on Reddit unveiled that the Southwest Avocado Chicken Salad has been swapped out in favor of the new grilled chicken cob salad, hitting the menu on March 28th. Back in 2018, Wendy's customers were all smiles when they first sunk their forks into the Southwest Avocado Chicken Salad. It was a salad sensation, boasting freshly chopped lettuce as the base, crowned with warm, hand-sliced grilled chicken breast. But the real star was the creamy guacamole crafted from Haas avocados, lime juice, and a pinch of salt. Paired with diced tomatoes, applewood smoked bacon, shredded pepper jack cheese, and drizzled in Southwest Ranch dressing, it was a keto fiesta on a plate. Now, the new grilled chicken cob salad looks set to fill the salad-shaped hole in our hearts. It's bringing chicken, eggs, bacon, tomatoes, and crispy fried onions to the table. Although, sadly, avocados aren't on the guest list. What have you done? Just made some delicious guacamole, yo! Denny's Beyond Burger. You gotta try this. It's called Beyond KFC. It's time to talk about the end of an era, the Beyond Burger. Since 2023, if you'd strolled into Denny's with a hankering for a meatless patty, the Beyond Burger was your answer. But as of March 2023, it was officially lights out for this plant-based star. No more Beyond Burgers on the menu. But here's the twist. You might still get lucky and snag one for a brief moment, depending on your local Denny's stockpile of Beyond Meat. However, once it's gone, it's gone for good. But fret not, veggie-loving friends, Denny's isn't leaving you high and dry. They're making the switch to a new veggie burger, and it's exciting news for those who prefer their veggie patties to taste, well, more like veggies than meat. It tastes burger-ish, but not good. Is that what you were going for? The new star on the scene is Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burger. If it's anything like the ones you can find in stores, it's a vegan delight. However, it does contain soy, which might not tickle everyone's fancy in the veggie burger world. If you've ever tried a veggie burger at White Castle and enjoyed it, this news will warm your heart, because Denny's will now be serving up the same patty. Dr. Prager's California veggie burgers have quite the reputation as some of the best in the brand's lineup, so we're optimistic that this change will tickle most taste buds in the right way. What veggie burger, please? KFC's Chocolate Chip Cookies. I want 10 chocolate chip cookies. Ah, the sweet nostalgia of KFC's chocolate chip cookies. Once upon a time, KFC tantalized our taste buds with freshly baked cookies right on the premises, and they were pretty darn good. Soft, warm, and packed with melty chocolate chips, they had a certain homemade charm that felt like a sweet escape from the ordinary. But then, in 2019, something changed. KFC decided to switch to prepackaged cookies, and it was as if the cookie magic vanished in the thin air. These newer cookies were, to put it mildly, a bit underwhelming. They were on the small side, and dare we say it, lacked that zing of flavor we all crave from a chocolate chip cookie. Consistency? Forget about it. The texture? Well, it just didn't make anyone weak in the knees. Cost-saving measures and efficiency gains might have been the driving forces behind this transition, but it's safe to say something was lost in translation. Customers didn't hold back in expressing their good ridden sentiments towards these rather subpar chocolate chip cookies. Now, you won't find anyone weeping over the disappearance of KFC's chocolate chip cookies. It's pretty clear that they weren't hitting the sweet spot with the masses. So perhaps it was a wise move to bid them farewell in the hope that what follows will leave us licking our lips with delight. So tasty. Take a bite out of more great videos. Just tap or click, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.